guys or any other time. Okay. Guys. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, of course. You're good. Okay. okay. So the point that I was trying to make is that I have dysphoria related to my genitalia, related to my chest. Uh, thank you so much, Alexandra. Uh, just because I have that dysphoria and just because I've done something about that dysphoria does not mean that I am ashamed that I used to have a penis. I'm not ashamed that I used to be flat chested. I am not ashamed that I used to have a beard. I don't have those things anymore. Like I now have a vagina. I now have breasts. I no longer have a beard. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I did. So a person who needs to go stealth in order to deal with their dysphoria does not mean that they are ashamed of the fact that they are transgender. It just means that they have to deal with their dysphoria in a different way. But if you can't disclose that to your partner, the person that's supposed to love you more than anyone else in this world, do they really love you for you? Do you have to go through every single trauma you ever have with with a partner? Um, it, it, it creates a very safe space, in my opinion. Do you have to share every single medical condition you've ever had? Do you have to share that time you had a cold as a as a ten year old? Rock, well, that is, so much. That's a that's a very minor a very minor part of someone's life, but being a trans woman is is not a minor part of it. It was. Fine. For, mo for most trans women, it was a good chunk of maybe, honestly, what, 20 to 25 years? What about being transgender does someone deserve to know? Does there someone who is, what about being me being transgender, does anyone else in the world deserve to know? If you're walking down the street, that is no one's business. If you're minding your business, that is no one's business. Fine. But I feel like, What's I feel like, what, I do feel what like do my your, friends deserve I, I to know? Like, what do like my partner partners deserve to know? to know? I feel like your partner deserves to know. Yes, I do. Why? Um, is it, I mean, do you think that a trans person is being dishonest? There's multiple different reasons. Multiple different reasons. Why? It could, it could, it could be against. It could be against what they believe, their religion, what they were taught. They should they should have Yeah, I would that hope that action. a transgender person would, would see the signs and, and not date a transphobe. Um, but there are any uh, number we, there are any number of ways that you can discover someone is transphobic. But did we um we already kinda touched on that and I still disagree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Adora. I just uh, I, feel yeah. like people, I feel like people have the right to know things like that. Leah, you have internalized transphobia. No, I ha I do I do not. I love myself. I love okay, I love, Leah, I love Leah, Leah, you don't view yourself as a woman. I'm sorry. You don't view yourself as a woman. I view myself as a trans woman because that's what I am. Right. That's because you have internalized transphobia. And uh, no, no. I did too. I I, I did too. For many many oh, years, thank you so much, CJ. Laura, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure I've been trans for longer than you have. I've been trans my entire so, life. So have you. So no 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 no. Let's kind of let's talk about let's be realistic, because because here you are again, kind of just you 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 said oh I I used to be like that. You're you're kind of trying to downplay my transition. I don't like that. Let's be no, I'm not trying here. to downplay let's, your transition. I am saying that you have internalized transphobia. And it, take, it can I take a lot myself. of effort to, to, to work on that. I love myself. So. I'm glad you love yourself. I'm glad you love yourself. You still have internalized transphobia. Okay. And I'm sorry that you feel that way. Leah, the fact that you don't view yourself as the person that you are, it means that you, uh, it means that you are still somehow coddling your, your oppressor. You are still, you are, you are, you are reducing yourself to beneath what you are. You are a woman. Be proud and of I, 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 am, I am a woman and, and I walk around as a proud woman, but when we're in safe spaces and we can talk about this, we have to, it, 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 I, I'm sorry, I'm a trans woman. I'm a trans woman and that's okay Wait, to talk about. are you saying about. you acknowledge yourself as a woman? I'm sorry? You do acknowledge that you are a woman? Yes. That's not what you said at the beginning. At the beginning, you said that you're not a woman, that you're a trans woman. I am a trans woman. Right. I'm a trans woman. I am also a woman. Are you a trans woman that is also a woman? Correct. Yes. Is that okay. not what so I said? Okay, so it sounds like there might have been a communication issue. 
Because it no. definitely sounded like you were saying that trans women are not women. No, 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 no. I never said. I never said that. I did not say that. Okay. Okay. That clarifies. Thank you so much, Angie. Appreciate you. Um, I okay. Did, I did. I did not say that, and I. I um. I don't know. I, I I really didn't want to come on here and offend anyone, but I you love did you. Say and that. I it's it's to okay. Talk. It sounds like we had a miscommunication. It happens. So long as you understand that trans women are women, that you are a woman, you are valid as a woman, and that it's okay for trans women to to just call themselves women. Uh, it's okay for trans women to acknowledge that they're transgender. Exactly. I agree. Okay. Okay. So, good. We're on better. We're in a better spot now. Good. Because okay. I was uh, operating on the impression the entire time that you did not view us as women. No, I I view us as women. I just I just see a I just see a difference between biological women, which we're gonna jump on my ass for using that word. Yes. Cisgender women. Yeah. I, I see a difference between that and trans women, that's all. But I still view yes, us there, as women and I, there is a difference I love, I love, between cisgender women and trans women. Yes. yes. There's a difference. Okay. okay. So I'm going to let you go now, uh, Leah. Uh, I still disagree with you completely about disclosure, but I'm glad we clarified um, the rest. Rara, thank you so much. Okay, thank you for having me. Bye. Hello, everyone. Hello. Go Sorry, on. you guys didn't really get to say your thing there, did I? I kind of powered through that conversation. Oh, you're perfectly fine. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> on it hmm? sorry oh yeah i just wanted to give you your space on the topic because yeah, i'm cisgendered and it was yeah. cal rose i know you had something you wanted to say honestly i completely forgot what it was sorry sorry cal <laughs> no that's okay that's okay i um okay. i'm gonna go ahead and drop but, I'm actually going to go hang out with my friends now, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. I, I'm actually hosting a live later to ask cis women why so many are comfortable reducing themselves to biological function. Um, but, yeah. All right. Badass. Um, yep. Let's turn off sub only before I forget to turn it back on for the next live. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate you guys. Um, <laughs> And I will definitely see you guys later. Um, right, bye, Adora. My sleep schedule is all fucked. My like my schedule is obviously going to be completely fucked for the next few days. Who knows when I'm going to go live? Who knows who I'm going to go live with? Who knows what the topic's going to? Because last time uh, I did a Mel meetup, that's when I came up with the um, "I am a woman, uh, which bathroom should I use?" Um, topic. That's the one that really took off during that uh, visit, and I got to come up with a new one. I, I need another catch for this live. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know. But uh, I, I have some ideas. We'll see. I'll see you all later. Bye, guys. Someone just told me to be safe. No, where's the fun in being safe?